show viewers of brilliant PSN shows called Access, here's what's coming your way in episode 24. We've got highlights from the FIFA Interactive World Cup UK finals in our PlayStation briefing. We're putting our wipeout skills to the test against Studio Liverpool's spandex lovely Amy Nekajima. And going oriental as we check out gang happy open worlders sleeping dogs in Hong Kong. First up though, we're causing automotive carnage and hiding from murderous clowns in our Game of the Week Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal's back! Which means growling engines, giant cannons strapped to car doors, and civilization drowning in a heap of scrapped wrecks and leather bound lunatics. There is a story to go along with all the carnage, tucked in between arena battles and told in grim live-action cutscenes. Actually, there are three stories, each featuring not so much heroes as deranged monsters. Like Sweet Tooth, a lunatic ice cream man turned murder clown who's hunting down his own daughter. Also, his head is on fire. Then there's Mr. Grimm, a biking badass with self-esteem issues. My name is Daniel Grimm, and I'm an asshole. Oh, yeah, a little bit. And there's Dollface, a psychotic supermodel who stars in a cautionary tale about the dangers of visiting backstreet leprechaun doctors. But as gruesomely impactful as these snapshot stories are, they take a definite backseat to the real star of the show. The blaring, chaotic, drive through a wall but now I've been blown into the sky action. Twisted Metal is unrelentingly old school, pitching you into open area dogfights in rusted spiky murder wagons and leaving you to scramble for weapons power-ups and health bonuses. At first it seems like lunacy, with a tricky layered system of attacks including vehicle specific specials, pickups like rockets and shotguns and your tamer than a fevered goldfish default machine gun. But plough on and the rubble of toppled buildings and smoking wrecks gradually takes on a strategic shape, like in the game's objective modes and especially online against other human players. Twisted Metal is at heart a multiplayer game. You won't get the best out of it unless the people you're turning into roadkill are your friends. As you'd expect from Dave Jaffe, the bloodthirsty mind behind the original God of War, there are some impressively striking stages too, like this deranged water park with a giant ferris wheel or this nighttime metropolis with a treacherous ice rink. And of course, this giant fiery murder cage, which pretty much sums up the whole twisted metal experience. It's dark, frantic and lethal, and while you could never describe it as subtle, you could turn this ice cream truck into a giant robot and blow everyone up. We know which we'd rather have. for a blast of news from the PlayStation furnace now in this week's briefing. Everyone fancies themselves as a bit of a FIFA expert, but last week at the Vita Rooms in London, we found out just how good the very best are as the UK finals of the FIFA Interactive World Cup took place. With a trip to the World Finals in Dubai at stake, the tension was thick like Joey Barton's forehead. But as winner Ty Walton showed, champions are made of sterner stuff. I mean, I actually come into the tournament not knowing who to use. I started off as Man City and I was a bit dodgy. I still managed to win and then I switched to Real Madrid and everything just worked for me. Yeah, way to root for the underdog, Ty. Someone else who's definitely a FIFA expert is Gary Patterson, the gameplay guru who helped mastermind the series' recent resurgence on PS3 and has now turned his attention to the imminent FIFA street. The trick-heavy showcase looks fantastic, but a question mark still hovers over Gary's own skills. Tell us again, how many kick-ups can you do? Personally, in real life, two, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I laugh, but that's one more than me. Moving from kick-ups to kicking the hell out of everything, we recently went hands-on with Open World Ingest Em Up Prototype 2. While having belting fun with the unique biopowers of new hero James Heller, we asked Radical Entertainment's David Frackier what weapon the Blacklight virus would transform him into. What kind of weapon would I be? I'd be a blender. <laughs> I like drinks. <laughs> That's all for this week's briefing. We'll be back with more news next week. Going digital now, it's time for your roundup of the week's best on the store. First up is a game we're not even going to try and make a joke about, owing to the fact it's utterly brilliant and should be avoided only by those with horns and or an aversion to red rags. Journey plonks you in a vast expanse of gorgeous sun-baked desert, strokes your ears with a beautiful score 
and sticks a massive mountain on the horizon with destination subliminally plastered across the top in the form of a big heavenly light. What does that all mean? It means it's one of the greatest things ever on PS3 and basically unmissable. It's available now for PlayStation Plus subscribers and hits the store proper on the 14th. Also ready for download and now tarted up in glossy 1080p vision is the Jack and Daxter HD Trilogy, a series of combat-heavy platform titles that include, among many highlights, a wise-cracking ginger otter weasel, this place has too much excitement, GTA-style vehicle hijacking, and an obese quest-giving sweat sack with legs the size of an amoeba. Play it and marvel at Naughty Dog's pre-Drake brilliance. Dumping the cartoon frolics for realism, cold and swearing is Killzone 3's multiplayer, with the entire online portion of Gorilla's Ace Shooter now fending for itself in the wilds of PSN. Brilliantly, the whole thing is free until you level up to the rank of Sergeant 1, so you can get stuck into the fragtastic operations mode without losing anything but the blood flow to your thumbs. That's all from the store for now. We'll be back with more digital thrills next week. bonus level now which this week is brilliant for two reasons firstly we're back at the playstation vita launch party in london and secondly we're about to play zero g pilot and zip placement expert amy nakajima at her own game which is wipeout 2048 in case you missed the spandex Pfizer logo daubed across her thigh with vita's ps3 crossplay enabled we sat down and got ready to hand out a thrashing and a thrashing is exactly what happened you don't care who won though right or the fact it looks like Amy has finished racing ages ago. What you really want to know is how she got so good at Wipeout. I've got two older brothers who are quite a lot older than me, 12 years older, and I wasn't allowed to play Wipeout by my brothers because they basically told me it wasn't for girls and I was too young. So I used to sneak into their rooms and play it. And then I got really good and I thought, I'm, just, I'm coming out, I'm just going to tell them I'm better than they are. Thanks, Miss Nakajima. If you reckon you can better Amy's sublime lap times, then you'll need to grab yourself a copy of Wipeout 2048, which is out on PlayStation Vita right now. This week's unusually exotic Access All Areas comes from the teeming neon metropolis of Hong Kong, where we recently caught up with the open world crime epic formerly known as True Crime, now being relaunched as Sleeping Dogs. We're very excited. Not only are dogs and sleeping two of our favourite things, but as you can see from our incredible footage, Hong Kong is one heck of a location. After a presentation from Developer United Front filling us in on the game's progress, we sat down with their design director, Michael Scooper. We try to make it as authentic as possible. We've done a lot of research, both in um, Hong Kong as a city, but also in the triads and, and the police here. So we just... It's a lot easier for us if we just, you know, base it as much on reality as possible. For a first-hand account of dealing with Hong Kong's triad gangs, we then spoke to former Hong Kong Police Force Superintendent Robin Jolly. Triads on their initiations have to go through 36 oaths of office, and I think every single one of them is enforced by pain of death. Either death by five thunderbolts or a myriad of swords, which is basically their doctrine, it sums them up. All well and good, but of course what we really wanted to know was whether he'd ever beaten anyone up in the name of justice. No. <laughs> oh, fine, we'll ask him again when the cameras have stopped rolling. That's all from Sleeping Dogs and sadly all from Hong Kong. We'll have more on the game soon and more on the city as soon as we can justify it. Uncharted Drake's Dim Sum, anyone? Ah, well, that was an excellent show. I'm so glad we managed to pack everything in. Nothing missing here, no massive releases that we've overlooked. Bye! <coughs> Only joking, of course we know it's amazing. Quit work and divorce the dog Mass Effect 3 week. And you'll be pleased to know we've given it the full treatment in a bonus video you can find right now at facebook.com slash PlayStation Access. Go get yourself some Shepherd. See you next week.